What's up, YouTube? What's up, Pretty Bread Gang? Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys missed me, so I pieced together this video on how my bestie started out these braids and they became a trend today over here at the Pretty Bread Gang. Now, I did not create this style, but my best friend, she was the first person to get the style because she's sitting on Instagram, I think. And people like it because it's a particular type of hair. I have done these styles before where you just add the curly hair at the end. But this just, instead of deep wave, this is wet and curly. It's made by the same people that um, made the other hair, Lula Trees. Only thing is, it only comes in 27. It doesn't come in no other colors. If it does, it's like brown with the color 27 at the bottom brown and honey bun so when you are making parts you want to make sure that when you part them braids out that it's gonna fall in between the two braids at the bottom because you don't want to have big gaps and you can see straight to the scalp I mean you could do that if you want to but we don't do that over here at the pretty braid game it just helps the braid all the braids lay flat your hair don't look bulky your braids don't be bulky you know it be pretty and laying flat I mean, hey, I'm trying to help you out here. And I did this same style the day before I did this one, and I did triangle parts instead of box parts. And she had got um, the color 27 put in her head. And that was my first time ever doing the color braids, like 27, with the number 27 at the end. And it came out really cute, and I really liked it. But of course, I couldn't say none of my videos. This video is, is really showing you stuff that I already I have already done on other videos. This video is mostly to talk about these free medium box braids. So if you kept listening this whole time, congratulations to you because now you get to hear how you're gonna win. All you have to do is comment under this video. When was the first time you ever heard me say in a video? on YouTube that I was going to give away free box braids. All you have to do is comment and this video will be up for, well today is mm, Halloween of course, October 31st, Thursday. This video will be up until Saturday and I will be choosing a winner on Sunday or Monday. All you have to do to win these free box braids is watch this video, like it, Comment, when did you first hear me say that I was going to give away free box braids? Which video? And then I will draw the names on Sunday. Medium box braids, they cost about $140. They stop in the middle of your back. They take between four and five hours to complete. Take all of this into note whenever you are entering this contest that you will have to sit for at least four or five hours it is absolutely completely free all you have to do is enter the contest and you can be slayed and laid for free thank you for supporting me now don't let all of this free 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 talk distract you from what's really going on in the video but I'm still showing you some things here <laughs> that you can learn you see all those like straight hairs popping up and the curly hair that I didn't lay down flat that was part a part that I was trying to show you also it was just like how I go back and clip it once you dip it, the hair is gonna look different and it'll be easy to clip. You can clip it right now if you want to, but that's on you. I like to do everything in order. Everything has a time and a place. And that's just how I roll. These braids can take up to five or six hours. It depends on how you holding your head and like how thick your hair is. Really, truly, everybody had to take the same amount, five or six hours. If you hold your head sideways, cockways, sleep, I don't know, she was falling asleep. The girl the day before was falling asleep. It doesn't matter how you hold your head. 
I'm still gonna be finishing in five or six hours. I don't know. Maybe because I have like a parts for everything and know the exact number of braids that's gonna go on each row. That's just me. You have to get organized and have to have a system. That's the only way you can give out consistency. When I first started, I thought I was good. People t was telling me that it was good, and it was good. But then now, I look back at my work and I'm just like, oh my God, why nobody told me like, that stuff was jacked up. Like, I could have been better. But I work every every time I braid, I work on being better than I was the first time. I'm trying to learn something different to give better results than I did the first time. Right here, I am gonna be showing you um, how I finish up every style. I ain't gonna tell y'all no more how I do it. This is how I do it until I change it. I'm hit it with a little of that Fantasia. And then I'm gonna go and spray with a little bit of that got to be. And then this is the Nairobi foam. I've been having the same bottle for a long time because I bought a big bottle of the Nairobi while it was on sale. And I refilled the same bottle over and over again. I'm gonna have to replace it soon because it's going out. But anyway, and I dip the hair as always. And you know, my video cut out, so y'all gonna get a snippet of that. And then you have the finish right on. Yes. Those wet and wavy curly box braids. Thank you for watching.